In last week's episode, we spent an amazing time in Alvor, one of our favourite anchorages anywhere. This week, it's time to leave Portugal, leave Lagos, and head to Spain, 130 miles and a good 24 hour passage. So, after checking out, having one final breakfast, we finally drop our lines and motor out into the local anchorage just to give our hull a quick scrape before we set off for our sail. So, uh, what are we doing? 1600 reps and four knots. There's crap on the hull that needs to be cleaned off. I think we're probably losing about a knot. Lovely little anchorage. Kind of wish we'd uh, come out here earlier. Let's get this hole scraped because yeah. we don't scrape it when we're out of options for today. Yeah. Well, step one of our plan for today is complete. We've checked out. We have um, gone to anchor in the bay. The bay is about oh, half a kilometre, half a mile from from where we started off, and we have got to get into the water and scrape the hull because it's been in the marina for six weeks. And we're not going to complain about the temperature of the water because this morning I saw an Instagram movie from Delos where they went diving in the Arctic Circle just in their bikinis. But they're just crazy. <laughs> when that, I say diving, I mean they jumped, that water's they jumped in, they jumped out. 80 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. I'm going to be bitching about it. Do you have anything else to say on this matter? Only to observe my very um, long leggings. Someone has miniature legs like those of a cat. <laughs> I love it. Cat legs. Cat legs, <laughs> badly, they call her. Let's go. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. Goodbye. Ah. Ah. The sound that you can hear underneath the boat is not a dolphin, it's Teresa. Scraping the hull. Um, lovely to be back at anchor and out of the marina. I love marinas and I love them for the reasons that we have shore power and we can get ashore easily, yada 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 yada. But there is something beautiful about being at anchor. And my little mer beast. <laughs> oh, <I'm> beast. <laughs> oh. How are you, my little uh, Simon of the Sea? My little nautical chipmunk. <laughs> my little nautical chipmunk. How are you doing? Yeah. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Don't move. There's like a thin layer of like moss all over the hull. My thoughts are that as we move away from the Atlantic, the yeah. water was going to warm up a little bit. I hope so. If we have to, over the next two months, do that two more times. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Yeah, it's fine. But hopefully once we get to the med, then it won't be, the water will get a bit warmer. 
slowly warming up. Flat calm. There is 10 knots of breeze, and uh, yeah, I've made a risk assessment that at the moment being in the cockpit is uh, not so much of a risk. But we will have live jackets on before dusk, won't we? say it feels so good to be on the move again. I love the luxury or the rel relative luxury of being in a marina but uh, yeah there's nothing quite like moving to a new place, getting those sails up and uh, you know it's amazing because we're about to do a 120 mile run and that's obviously an overnight passage and uh, it's not that long ago really that that would have been kind of this thing that we were planning for and psyching ourselves up for for like days if not weeks beforehand and now it's just like we've just decided to do it on a bit of a whim really I haven't actually given it any thought whatsoever so yes it's lovely beautiful day beautiful warm day light breeze uh, yeah looking forward to the next 24 hours of sailing well, afternoon. We are settled in, I think. We've settled into a lovely little sail. And first thing, someone's going to pick up, I haven't got a life jacket on. The reason I haven't got a life jacket on is because I am in the cockpit. There is seven. I mean, it's seven knots of wind. It is flat calm. And uh, while it's light and there is no swell, I'm happy to not wear a life jacket. We had a lovely lunch. It is, strangely enough, quite cold out here. I think we've heard, Therese looked at the weather forecast, we're going to go 120 miles along the coast, and I believe that Lagos in southern Portugal has a lot of kind of air and wind that gets drawn in from the Atlantic Ocean. So it's actually, it was cold when we set off. So we've got a nice overnight sail. It will be the first, hopefully, overnight sail. We're not completely kind of overawed by swell. Um, hopefully we'll get some sleep. It is one of these things which I suppose as a, as a comparison between how we did our Atlantic crossing, this is very, very, very pleasant. We have got so much data to use and kind of figure that as soon as we get to Spain, we'll lose it. So um, I found this kind of sailing channel that I think you should may, some of you may know about. Um, yeah, a couple of guys, a couple of brothers on, a, on an ammo. So I get to sit and uh so yeah that's that's my afternoon i'm gonna sit and catch up with delos um burn up some internet data take some high quality pete mckinnon style b-roll and uh yeah, it's just settle into, settle into a long passage. Now normally, I'm saying this, what time is it now? I don't have a watch on, but I'm, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Normally by about five, the wind picks up. So, sorry Brian, I need to shut up a second. Uh, normally by five o'clock, the wind's picked up, we get the evening winds. So um, we may have to reef, we always reef down for night anyway, it'll be a motor sail, but that's it really. So just looking forward to a nice afternoon at sea.
been searching in the dark, trusting every clue I found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see in the dark. Well, it looks as if uh, the sun's finally setting. Um, we'll start our first night watch. Um, kind of looking forward to it really. The wind touch wood has remained fairly steady at about, got about 10 knots apparent. So we've got about 15, 16 knots, but it's downwind all the way. Um, it's quite warm, although it's starting to chill down. I think we'll need jumpers on tonight as the uh, sun sets. The temperature should drop quite a bit. We are now over the 200 meter contour line. And the reason that that's important is that underneath, or less than 200 meters, we tend to get a lot of crab pots and lobster pots, uh, but not so much after 200 meters. So keeping an eye out for crab pots and fishing pots at night is hard. Um, so yeah, so Teresa's asleep. It's quarter past eight. And I will probably, well, she's meant to be up at nine, but I don't think I'll just let her sleep. She stays in bed and I'll stay up as long as I can. And we'll report back at some point later, so uh, see you later. Join us next week as we do an awesome night sail across the Bay of Cadiz to finally tie up in a beautiful Andalusian town. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Bye.